Hello everyone, my name is Bodo, and today I'm going to show you how to download and install Windows Movie Maker. So first, we'll need to open up a web browser. I recommend either Google Chrome or Firefox, both of those are fine. So we'll open it up, and in your search menu, I prefer Google, type in Movie Maker, and it will be the first link. Make sure that the green bar says windows.microsoft.com so you aren't downloading malware of any kind. And then there will be a purple button that says download now. Make sure you're on the Microsoft website and that it looks similar to this. It might change over time, but it should look exactly like this if you're doing it in 2016, more than likely. So we'll click on download now. Okay. And in our downloads, this will pop up. If you don't know how to access your downloads and you're not using Chrome, if it's in Firefox, it will be up here underneath this arrow. That'll open up your downloads. However, if you're using Chrome like I am, it'll just pop up down here in the bottom left. So we'll click on that. It'll say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your PC? And we'll say yes. All right. So at this point, Windows Movie Maker is a part of Windows Essentials 2012. Obviously, it's been a few years since 2012, but it's still great software. It still works. I do not want all of Windows Essentials, I just want a couple of programs out of there, so I'll choose the programs I want to install. Now I do not want Messenger, I do not want Mail, and I do not want Writer. So by unchecking those I am saying that I do not want to install them. And I'm going to leave Photo Gallery and Movie Maker checked. Okay, once that's done I'll click Install. Now it's going to install Windows Essentials 2012, also known as Photo Gallery Movie Maker, because that's what I've chosen. Now on your computer it might take a little bit longer than this. Um, my download speed as well as my computer's ability to write to the drive is pretty darn quick. So don't be surprised if it takes a little bit longer than mine is. Okay, so now that is installed. And it says to start using Windows Essentials Movie Maker, click Close. I'll click Close. I can go ahead and close out of my browser. And now to open up Movie Maker, we can go to our start menu. And we can look through here. If you don't see it there immediately, click on All Apps. And I'm using Windows 10, of course. And you can scroll down until you see Movie Maker. So there is one way to find it. If you don't want to go through all the hullabaloo of searching through a menu, you can just hit the Windows key and the S key on your keyboard and that will bring up a search box and then you can type in Movie Maker and there it is again. So we'll click on it and you can see Windows Movie Maker is up and installed. This is the first part of a tutorial ser series for Movie Maker on my part. I plan on just showing you all the basics for use in a personal setting or a professional setting. I hope you found this useful, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.